So forum user Strange Sully or Sully the Strange asked uh, a question regarding ground constraints and why they were sporadically ignoring the inspector values in Unity. And he thankfully uploaded his project, so I took a look at it real quick. Uh, and at first glance, it looks like something's just misbehaving. Uh, you can see the, the Smoke 21 constraint is doing its thing kind of, but not. I don't see any of the skeleton utility lines coming out of it. Uh, and the reason that is, uh, is because when you spawned this, I think you took uh, the throwable smoke 21 constraint and then you changed the bone that it was supposed to be following to smoke 21 instead of smoke 21 constraint. Um, I'm pretty sure you want to be following smoke 21, but the problem is the hierarchy uh, is different when you look at it like this was originally under throwables and skeleton utility does things relative to the parent uh, to get it translated into local space for the skeleton's hierarchy or the, the spine skeleton's understanding of the hierarchy. Uh, so I'm going to spawn uh, a new thing and put it over here. Say right about there. Uh, add the skeleton utility and then spawn out the entire hierarchy in Fallable mode. Uh, so you, again, you see you've got throwables, smoke 21 constraint, uh, and then you've still got your smoke 21 all the way down here. But this is the one you should apply the constraint to. Uh, and in this case, I'm actually just going to add it to everything because it looks really cool. Uh, and I had not actually thought about using ground constraint this way. I'm sure it's really expensive uh, ray casting and performance wise, but hey, it'll look pretty. Uh, oops, don't want to move those move this down a little bit more uh, and as, as soon as we hit play we should see a bunch of lines start drawing here from skeleton yips uh, back turn on the animation make it loop uh, and hit play there we go so you see all those lines drawing out from all of those uh, those are the skeleton utility ground constraint uh, status lines showing how far they're casting uh, and just to explain what these lines actually mean this little uh, dot is the bone itself uh, or the current position of the bone. And this line is demonstrating how high above the bone to cast. Um, so if I click down here on this is whatever this is, smoke 19, uh, I see a cast distance. Uh, and that cast distance represents, I actually have to hit play to get this to update, yeah. That cast distance determines how long that line is. So this, uh, the, I, the ground constraint will behave correctly all the way up until that space. And if you ever exceed that distance, then it will snap beneath it. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's what you were seeing earlier with the, it behaving sporadically, but uh, now that everything's set up this way, we can really quickly just take another one of these guys and put it over there. Uh, make sure they're lined up on that axis, if they are, and hit play. And you should see all of these bones do what they're supposed to do. They spread out along that ground plane. You'll start seeing red lines show up down here uh, indicating that this is oops, this is the position that the bone should be, uh, but it's being stopped uh, right there where the node is, and it's showing the rest of the cast line above it. Uh, let's see. So to get this stuff uh, tuned in a little bit closer to where where I think it would look good, because right now it's kind of sticking through the floor. Uh, you can take all of these guys and you can actually change their ground offset to raise the position where they stop against the ground. There we go. So now you've got stuff that kind of fits directly above things and you can tweak this to your heart's content and drag stuff around dynamically. It'll just kind of work. There you go. Okay, so I hope that sums up all of that. The key here was that if you're using the skeleton utility bones, they need to maintain their hierarchical structure, uh, or they will not know where to find uh, their position. Uh, the exception here is actually the parent reference property, and that means that as long as it knows where the bone is in the parent reference uh, field, then you don't need to maintain the accurate hierarchy as long as you understand that it's all going to be relative to the parent reference rather than its direct parent. Uh, so it still needs to be accurate, it just doesn't need to be in the hierarchical order. Uh, Alright, cool. See ya.